Well, speaking of getting around town, if you take RTD to work, school, or getting around the area, you'll notice the new cost of mm -hmm. fares because those prices take effect today. And joining us here in studio, Denver 7's Veronica Costa. Veronica, uh, when does this all start and tell us why? Well, you know, the RTD Board of Directors, they decided to make these changes back in July after they got some feedback that fares were, one, just too expensive, and then, two, too hard to understand. So now those fares are going to be a little bit cheaper because of that. Now, this goes for both those single fares and monthly passes, and then those who are 19 years old and younger, they've been enjoying free rides since September. That is continuing into this new year now. Now, here's where fares stand as of today. A three-hour day pass is now going to be $2.75. That comes down from more than $5. A full day pass, that's now going to be $5.50. That's down about $0.50 cents from before. And then the pass that you typically buy to get you to the airport, that's going to be a little bit cheaper now as well, down $0.50 cents to a flat $10 rate. The RTD CEO told us lowering these rates are about making the experience cheaper, which they hope in turn increases how many people use the service. We are uh, aspiring to provide uh, appropriate levels of service and hope that people will start promoting uh, the usage of RTD because I really believe that that can uh, instill a great environmental citizen as we think about reducing vehicle miles traveled um, and uh, taking cars off the road. And if you're out and about this morning and watching or you're home and you have to go somewhere this morning, remember RTD is offering those free rides, Nicole, Jason. That's going to happen until about 7 a.m. So you have a little less than two hours. All right, Veronica, thank you. And even though those trains were free last night and into today, it didn't do a whole lot of good for some travelers specifically last night because due to staffing issues, RTD had to stop service earlier. Some of these lines stopped before midnight, some before 11 p.m. And some people we spoke to say they were blindsided by those changes. Misleading is the right word. Because um, I saw 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and I thought, oh, this is great. So I had no idea. I didn't think I'd have to look at the departure times. They should do, uh, do it uh, past 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock for the people that are in the bars at night and having fun, it's safer for them to get home. Now we did check RTD's website this morning. It looks like all trains should be running as normal. Again, all rides are free until 7 a.m. If you'd rather take a cab or use a rideshare service, you can get reimbursed by several law firms. We have those listed on our website, denver7.com. If you're ringing in the new year in the mountains, Avon Transit will have a free tipsy taxi service, offering passengers a free ride home within town limits.